everybody. I'm so excited to be on here today. I got so much for you. Just got some music playing real quick. I'm gonna let everybody log in and um, just soaking in the glory, soaking in the presence of God. I can't wait to share with you some of the things the Lord's been giving me for the class today. It's just powerful. I just come with expectation for breakthrough for you guys. I'm so excited for everybody that's on here. This is so strategic. It's just very strategic. The Lord had me do this webinar at this very particular time because a lot of people are going through some intense stuff and it's over the birthing. It's the push to the birthing. So this um, webinar is to be strategic to help you during the birthing. So I'm going to allow a few minutes for everybody to log in. Um, just got some worship music playing in the background so we can do communion together. I've got to slow down and not unpack all the revelation and hammer you with it in, in uh, 10 minutes. we got to let you digest it. It's just so powerful. I just feel uh, honored and blessed to co-labor with the Holy Spirit on the topic of joy because it is God. It's the angelic realm. It's, it's just part of who he is. You know, our, our father is joyful. He's full of laughter. And it's just a, an honor to um, be able to just teach you guys on this, this specific subject. So let me give a few more minutes for everybody to log in. And um, I just want you to be able to ask a few questions, too, before we dive in and we get started. I, uh, I know a lot of people have been testing the waters of getting in the glory and doing some uh, amazing things this week by getting in the glory realm, allowing the joy to transform their life. Um, I just I feel just blessed to be with the Holy Spirit. And just know that God's going to do amazing things in your life uh, during this season, during this hour for the webinar. Um, so just allow a few more people to log in. I know it's it's uh, right at 7 o'clock. It takes a few minutes for the notifications to come out. Thank you, Jesus. I just release your power and your presence. Your power and your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just seen a amazing amount of um, amazing amount of people. Thank you, Jesus. Just an amazing amount of people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. An amazing amount of people getting breakthrough tonight. I just uh, say something if you're on here. Uh, I just want to make sure that everybody's getting logged in. I just release your power and your presence. I just was seeing so much in the spirit before I logged on. Hey, Jody, how are you? Just giving a few minutes for everybody to log on. Just going to recap what we went over last week in just a few minutes. I just want to do communion tonight together. I just felt it was so powerful. So if you're logging in, go ahead and do your communion stuff uh, or get it ready. Um, so that we can all participate together. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just release your power and your presence over everybody watching. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give a few more minutes. A few people are logging in again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everybody can hear me just fine. I'm clear. I'm just so excited what God's going to do tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just listening to this. I think it's uh, Steve Swanson on the fullness of God. Um, just talking about the fullness of who he is. I love this album. If you don't have this worship album, it's awesome. Awesome. Steve Swanson called The Fullness. The last song is a great soaking song. So we just invite the Holy Spirit right now. As more people are logging in, I'm just going to pray so we can do communion together. So Holy Spirit, we just thank you. We just honor you. Jesus, you are the Lord of Lords. You are King of Kings. And I just ask that, Holy Spirit, we invite you. 
we just say have your will have your way we just dedicate this webinar every class to you Holy Spirit and we just say we honor all that you want to do in everybody's life on this webinar and we just thank you Holy Spirit that you fill my mouth you fill my mouth with what the needs are on this webinar that you mold and shape and shift every part of this class because I know it's strategic I know, Lord, that the Holy Spirit, we just ask you to, to use the, the sword of the Lord tonight. I've just seen the sword of the Lord in, in people that are watching tonight. So I just say, have your will, have your way in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, I'll go ahead and get started tonight. Uh, let's do communion real quick. I just felt led that this was strategic, that we needed to do it together in unity tonight. So um, if you like to pray any certain thing, I kind of switch it up. I don't do any regimen when, when taking communion. So you can agree with me or you can say whatever you would like to pray over yourself. So, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that we discern the body and the blood. We just discern it as we take it, Lord, that we don't take it um, without honoring it. So we just thank you that we partake of your broken body and your blood. And the, even as we do it, that everywhere in our hearts, you binding up the broken heart, any wounds in our heart, their dunamis power is coming through to heal with this communion. Any health issues that you're, the blood of Jesus Christ is being applied as we take these parts and that our DNA is or, or just uh, it's lined up with heaven. Every part of our cellular DNA is lined up with heaven. I even see Jesus as we take this communion together. Lord, I just ask for the breakthrough in cellular memory. Even as we take this, that the memory of the cells will be that of Jesus Christ, of its original creation. No stress, no trauma, no post-traumatic stress that you'll actually bring people's breakthrough in their communion tonight in this area. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We are the righteousness of God. Woo! Powerful. Thank you, Lord. I'm get drunk on the Holy Ghost wine. I'm just doing communion. I'm just going to get situated here. Let me recap for you guys a few things. I just felt that it was so important that you understand this part of the class because I know we're covering a lot of keys very fast, but you have to understand in his presence is fullness of joy. That's where everything is birthed. That's where your breakthrough is birthed. That's where your health is birthed. That's where um, it, spiritual things birth. It, it's in the glory of God. That's how he designed it. He wanted us to be together in unity tonight. That's why I thought it was so important. So we just released that spirit of unity that even as we took the communion, that that spirit of unity reigns in this webinar tonight. Um, so that basically God keeps reminding me, uh, just say it to yourself every day, that in his presence is fullness of joy. It's the tribe of Judah. Judah meaning praise. It's the tribe of Judah. And we hear all over, you know, different conferences and different places that we are the tribe of Judah. And that is where the Lord keeps reminding me through over and over to remind you guys, this is a season of breakthrough, the things that you are birthing in the spirit. You are going to birth. You're going to carry every promise of God, every promise of God as you step into this joy and you lean into his strength. Remember, the joy is the strength. It's the pushing. A lot of people are feeling the labor pains. I felt the labor pains. They might be pains in the spirit, and you don't know what's going on. Another way, different people respond different ways to spiritual birthing. Another way, people feel it's like they want to cry all the time, like they don't understand it. It makes no sense. Well, that could mean that you're birthing something in the spirit. We talked about singing. Um, to get whatever the Holy Spirit, whatever song that, that God often gives new songs for new seasons. So we asked like last week, I hope you guys took 20 minutes and just sang a song. 
saying whatever and, and just start humming, just start tapping and allow, just sing in the spirit to the Holy Spirit gave you a new verse to sing. And if you didn't do that last week, that's okay. I just invite you to do that again because you're going to get more out of the webinar when you partner with Holy Spirit on these principles daily because he wants to give you the new song. He wants to quicken the word of God for this season for you individually over this webinar. It's imperative during the, the process that you're birthing something. Joy is the incubator. It's the protection. It's the fullness of God. So it allows you to be able to carry the strength to bear and to be able to give birth even in the hard places I knew this webinar would be taking place in the hard places because that's where we need his strength if it wasn't a hard place why would his joy and his presence need to be our strength we talked about um, declaring the the joy as the lifter of our head that during times of, of great trial and he's bringing a breakthrough that what did David do he pressed in he pressed in. He worshiped the Lord. We talked about um, letting the, the joy of heaven um, be the oil of joy for mourning. I know some people on this webinar may be going through seasons of mourning. One thing's dying. Usually during a birthing process, one thing's dying. The old season is dying. Old dreams could be dying. Old relationships could be dying because God wants to bring you into the new thing. So it, we talked about Isaiah 61, 3, the oil of joy for mourning, the, to console all those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. So most of you could say, well, I've mourned most of my life. Well, guess what? This is a new season and you're going to get the joy and you're going to get the gladness and no longer will your life be marked. I'm talking to somebody because I feel a heavy anointing on this. I just declare and decree over those watching that if their life has been full of ashes, that they are now getting traded. They're, uh, they're mourning. All seasons of mourning. I just release that oil of joy over you. I declare you are not going to cry anymore. You're not going to worry anymore. You just lay that down. You lay down the burdens of the past season. You lay down the disappointment. Just release disappointment. Release any trauma. Release any condemnation. Release any shame. I just see things falling off people's back right now. I declare the oil of joy for mourning and every everybody's life here that Lord you are bringing justice you are bringing the justice you are raising up the standard over everybody on this webinar God that you want this season to be an oil of joy for them that the morning has shifted that every tear the word talks about every tear that you have cried is counted in heaven he knows in the midnight hours what you've cried he knows the hurt he knows the loneliness he knows the pain he knows the abuse he knows you know failed expectations whatever it is just let the oil of joy be released over you afresh even now I just feel a wave a wave of joy so I just release that over you I just release that over you I just see the frequency increasing even in your own life the frequency of heaven that's just his glory that's just his presence people describe the presence different ways sometimes people shake sometimes people laugh sometimes people call it a frequency sometimes they cry it just everybody responds to the glory in, in different ways a lot of times we just declare the glory fire sometimes the Lord will just come in a glory fire sometimes his presence gets so heavy you just feel like you don't want to get off your pillow but remember it's the oil it's the anointing of the Holy Spirit that's what we're talking about when we're talking about joy and the oil of the Holy Spirit it's the Holy Spirit's gift and the fruit of the Spirit it's his fruit that he wants to give you so you might say in the natural nothing's going as I plan why isn't everything my way or this way or that way or, or what I expected right now it's just not happening fast enough I don't I don't get what's under what's going on just say no I put on the oil of joy 
God is birthing something new on my not, my life. He's coming alongside of me and he's opening up a new anointing that's fresh, that's fresh, that's going to help me to push forth, to not give up during this time, to keep plowing. I just see many are bringing breakthrough. Many have been plowing for a long time. I just, I just feel, Lord, I just declare this, that the, the breaker anointing is going out on everybody in this webinar. Whoa, I just release the fire of God. Right now, I just release your glory fire. Your fire, your fire. It's your presence that breaks the yokes. I see yokes breaking off right now. All heaviness, all weariness. Right now, it's shifting. We command it to the dry places right now. Right now, every pain. I just see the oil pouring all over somebody's back right now. God's given you some new spiritual gifts. It's, it's a new way of ministering in your anointing. It's, it's something you cried out to the Lord for. And I just see him pouring oil. I believe you'll just feel a hot oil going down your back. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I see it's it's an oil full of joy. It's an oil full of revelation. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just kind of flowing in the prophetic here because I feel it so heavy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just see him. The oil is it's just pouring into old wounds. Thank you, Lord. That oil is, is going into old scar tissues old scar tissues that you're training the mourning and the sorrow of their heart i seen sorrow coming out of somebody's heart just now so lord that sorrow is going to the dry places and that oil of joy is going to bring them into their next breakthrough in their heart i just see them softening the heart making it more and more pliable wow it's beautiful he just he just wants to <laughs> to hug your heart I just see the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Whoa. Woo. I just see the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Can you just feel the feel of the Lord? I just feel the presence. Woo. Man, you guys feel that? Just release that glory, that presence, that heavy, weighty glory. I just feel the fear of the Lord. The Holy Spirit wants to comfort you now. Comfort you now comfort you now I, I just seen uh, people that have been through great trials great trials great trials and I, I just see the father restoring it right now that you were made for such as time as this that your joy will expand your joy is going to bring the birthing your joy is all over them <laughs> And the Lord said, you thought it was over. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. I just hear him say, it's just the beginning. So take joy. Take happiness. Take happiness in what God has birthed in. Allow the, the just weariness to roll off. Just do a prophetic act and unzip the weariness. Unzip it. And then we're just kind of sitting here in the glory and and but, but god just wants me to declare some of this prophetically over you as we go through the teaching he wants you to feel his presence he wants you to feel the fresh oil he wants you to feel that fresh joy thank you holy spirit thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord we just praise you remember he knows what we need he knows what we need in this hour and he has um, prepared you in your worship time as you've worshiped before the Lord this week for the ones that did step out and do the exercise. He wants you to build on that. He wants you to build a lifestyle of waking up and singing a song or going to lunch and singing a song. There's times during this season as I'm birthing some things too, I can relate to the pain and, and for the uncertainty, but God is bigger than our uncertainty. And sometimes he only reveals one step at a time so that we as humans don't get overwhelmed. So don't get, I, I just see somebody get caught up. They're caught up in their head because the, the steps aren't all laid out, but it's, it's, it's more about trust. Maybe it's more about you learning how to trust in the joy of the Lord than every step being laid out. Because if you get the trust right, then everything's just going to fall into place and then he can give you more. He can give you more because you're not going to 
to respond in fear. You're not going to back down. You're not going to back up. You're not going to retreat because it's going to bring you to a new level of trust. Um, I think we ended last time is when you walk in the oil of joy, it crushes any victim mentality. When you've been through a lot in your life and, um, uh, God is restoring you and he's releasing fresh oil and you're preparing for destiny and, and you're seeking the Lord and you're praying and you're fasting and you're doing all the works. He doesn't want just all the works. He wants the joy to be your strength. It's not just about what we can do or can't do for him. So I just break all that pressure off of you right now. And he just wants to enjoy you. Enjoy you. Yes, some things are painful. Let him know. Let him know, ask him, say, Lord, what is painful? What is painful about this birthing? What are you doing? A lot of times when he brings that all of joy, he wants an exchange and just say, Lord, what do you want me to exchange today as you wake up? Was it, you know, maybe he wants you to, to, to take off any regret. Maybe it's regret. Maybe it's not regret. Maybe it's just an attitude an attitude change. Remember, the oil of joy builds leadership as leaders. Who wants to be, and I, I know we talked about this a little bit, but I, I felt the Lord kept hammering this in. Who wants to be a, a, around a leader who's grumpy, tired, and complaining all the time, and there's no joy, there's no oil, there's no, it's just like, oh, shower, mad griping. I don't want to do anything in life. Who's been around those leaders? <laughs> God wants us to be leaders that are full of joy that can, can sow the fruit of the Holy Spirit. But guess what? You can't be that kind of leader if you don't get it from the source. So don't put that expectation on your leader. Like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta put it all together. I'm a leader. I got, I gotta have this. I gotta have that. I gotta put that face on. No, he wants you to get refreshed in his glory every day. When you wake up, in his presence with the fullness of joy and the fullness of strength to handle whatever comes your way. Doesn't matter what it is. He wants you to drink living waters like the woman at the well. You have to drink it by faith. You have to drink by faith of the Holy Spirit. You say, the Holy Spirit, I drink your fresh oil by faith, your new wine. Just open your mouth and allow the new wine. Just drink it by faith because the Lord says that living waters flow down. I know some of you may or may not have a grid for that, but just understand that things happen in the spirit that we can see with our eyes and understanding. If you've never seen the wine of God, just say, Holy Spirit, show me the wine. Show me the new wine that you're giving me that you want me to have because it's my portion. You want me to have the joy of the Lord. And we talked about it's a lifestyle choice to live in the overflow instead of living in our emotions or uh, just living in lies, to, to live in the joy realm allows our faith to build because in each area of our walk, we're all being challenged at a different level. Let's say you passed one test by God, and I'm not talking about a test of sickness or test of this or test of that. God does not bring sickness to test you the test no 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 that god is a loving god he wants goodness for you i'm talking about he tests your attitude of your heart or he tests how you handle a situation or a person and, and the attitude of your heart so you can say lord sustain me as a leader I just received more oil during this webinar. I stepped out. I sowed into this anointing. So, Lord, I thank you for this whole month. I'm going to shift. I'm going to shift, and I'm going to allow this new anointing to flow for my life so that I have strength to lead. You don't have the strength to lead anything if you're not in his glory. Sometimes you may have to put down everything and, and cease striving and know that he is God and sit in his glory presence and just cry or sit in his glory presence and say, let your joy come. Everything looks insurmountable. God, change my perspective. Let your glory, let your, your song, your new song come out of my mouth so I can enjoy you and enjoy the fellowship the fellowship of God. I know a lot of people feel like they're going in the fellowship of the suffering. You know, um, Patricia Cream does a great, great teaching on this. But basically, you know, Jesus went through different sufferings in his life. There was like four or five different ones. And we all know that, that the cross is last. But there's suffering that happens when you decide to serve Christ that, that 
nobody can put into words. It's, it's not a negative suffering, but you have to pass the test. You know, he passed the test of Judas betraying him and he loved him anyway. And he passed the test of being beaten and he forgave the people that beat him even unto death, you know, and he forgave them at the cross. So he chose to love. His test was passing his love test. That's another way of putting it instead of suffering. And I know a lot of people feel like, man, something just feel off. Well, maybe you're passing your love test of suffering. And God wants to strengthen you. Because what did Jesus do every morning to get his joy, to get his strength, to be able to pass the love test? That, you know, that was that was key to Jesus's life. And he is our model. If he needed to go to the Lord for strength, how much more do we need to go to the Lord for, for strength? Remember, joy can create an atmosphere in your car, in your workplace, and in your home. So I just hope, uh, I know I did a lot of recapping, um, but, but it's really important that we don't just plow through the class for the sake of plowing, but that we are applying the principles. And, you know, um, as I, I set it down, I was just really meditating on joy. And we've talked about many different aspects of it. God um, even gave me a new aspect of joy tonight that he just wants to release over your, over everyone watching. It says joy or the sound of my voice, because some people may listen to this later. But joy it brings the atmosphere pregnant for revelation. So if you need revelation in this hour as a leader, as a person, you get in your in your worship. Just get in your worship and ask to see with the eyes of your understanding. It allows you to get the heavenly perspective, the revelation that you need during this time, during this season that is vital and key to your next seasons coming up. And I know certain people that have got, you know, worship in the Lord and focused on the Lord and they've gotten revelations for their ministry for the next 10 years. It's just happened that way because that's what the the revelatory realm that God wanted them to be at. So the Lord wants you to have revelation. He, he withholds no good gift. We don't have a father who likes to withhold anything. So if joy brings revelation, how can you steward that? What if the more you sing or the more you worship the Lord or the more you sing in the spirit, if you're by yourself working, what if it brings you and opens up more revelation over your life daily, just doing daily activities? You could sing while you cook supper. You could sing while you do dishes and, and watch the revelatory flow increase in your life because you're keeping the open heavens. You're allowing the open heavens to flow because you're aligning yourself with your spirit man. Think about it. If the Lord wants you to have revelation, just think about this question. If the Lord wants you to have revelation, what would be the breeding ground? That's the question he asked me. What would be the breeding ground of your revelation? Obviously, joy and worship. Because then your atmosphere is drawing in the angelic. They respond to the fruit. Right before this class, I could just see the cloud of witnesses. I could see them. I could feel the angelic activity from all directions. I was like, wow, you know, they're really responding. They want to work in these people's lives that are watching. God wants to bring the breakthrough. God wants to bring them fresh revelation. And I just prayed and just went into intercession, just releasing the angels on your behalf, on different needs, on inner healing, on deliverance, on revelation. So I just want to uh, tell you to take joy that God is working on your behalf. These angels were sent here to minister to you. So this webinar was marked in the spirit realm, and God wants you to know that he wants to give you that revelation, that it's coming. So as you, as you process what I just said, remember, I will say this over and over in this webinar, in his presence is fullness of joy. In his presence is fullness of joy. You may have to just laugh. If you're not experiencing the breakthrough and you're not experiencing the things that you want, I want you to laugh by faith. If you need that revelation, I want you to laugh by faith. Just do it. <laughs> we just thank you, Papa. We just thank you for that, that revelation that's coming. <laughs> even though I don't understand why the revelation hasn't got here, and even though I don't know what the next step is in my life or my ministry or for my family, Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Lord, that your joy is invading me, that you're going to give me creative ideas and witty inventions in your, in your glory realm, in your joy. Um, 
the, the revelation you need for tomorrow's answer is here, said the Lord. That was one of the things he told me. The revelation you need for tomorrow's answer is here, and he's more than willing to give it to you. So be a good steward of the joy. It talks about in Isaiah eleven twelve the seven spirits of God. So we I just want to invite those. A lot of you guys have been on my webinars before, but I just wanted to pray that in. There's a few new people, and just say, Lord, I just want this, just let let the seven spirits of God take place in my life. I just invite the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding. Just increase it. Multiply it in your joy. Multiply the seven spirits of God. If you're currently walking in them, ask the Lord for the multiplication of the spirit of might, the multiplication of the fear of the Lord. Whoa. I just release it right now right now thank you lord i just see new creative ideas coming to somebody it's even while you're sleeping so i just declare that over you new creative ideas and realms and ways that you cannot imagine i just release that and declare that over you and declare it's taking place in jesus name so the lord i love activation i you know i love to teach you guys but i want to do activations in each one of these classes because it, it makes you apply what you've learned so please do an activation exercise this week. I'm going to make it very simple, very basic, because I know everybody's time is different. I want you to take 20 minutes this week. That's, that's it. That's the challenge, 20 minutes. Anybody can find 20 minutes. And I want you to go in a room alone in your house, or if you're, you live alone, just a, a room in your house, or if your house is full of kids, go in your car. I want you to just go in your car, roll the windows down, and I want you to worship the Lord for five minutes. Just carve out that realm and joy. Just, just worship him. Just come up with that new song, sing in the spirit, whatever God gives you. I just want you to press into that and wait. Just If you have more time than 20 minutes, that's great. That's, you know, praise God. But if you don't, I want this to, to be tangible for you guys. Worship until you feel his presence could take you two minutes. You might not even need to worship five minutes. And then I want you to have a, take a piece of paper and a notebook with you. A piece of paper and a notebook and go worship in your car, go worship alone for 20, for uh, five minutes. And then as you feel his presence, take out your paper, take out your notebook and write down what the Lord is showing you. I, I just think I'm going to have great testimonies coming out of this class. I just declare it forth. The testimonies coming out of this class of the revelation that people got for their breakthrough during this time of joy when they chose as Judah, as the tribe of Judah, to bring the praise, to bring the praise of the Lord for the breakthrough, to get the revelation. I, I just see great wisdom being downloaded as you worship. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Just think about it. As you worship and you get, carve out that realm of joy and you sit down to write what the Lord has for you, you keep your mind and heart fixed on Jesus. When you worship, you know, like the word says in Colossians 3.23, how do you do that without worshiping? How do you do Colossians 3.23? And I'll read it to you. To set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. For you die, for you have died, and you are now your life is hidden in Christ. So how can your life be hidden in Christ if you cannot set your mind on things above? Isn't that powerful? So if you're worshiping, it allows you to freely set your mind on things above. So what happens when you think, keep your mind fixed on Christ? Do you think it's easier to have the mind of Christ as you worship? as you use that joy as your rep weapon remember that the praise and worship is what went out first it's carving out a realm of god's glory to be in your life i know i'm saying that over and over but that matters that matters i know one of the strategies that that um god spoke to to me and my husband in africa when i was going through you know you could call it different forces whatever your t term or terminology is this the the kingdom clashing whatever was i walked the streets in africa the lord told me to worship 
and I, I just felt the glory. I just felt the peace. I didn't feel any negativity. I didn't feel anything going on around me. And, and since I've started this class, the Lord just speaks it to me. It's funny. It's like a Holy Ghost reminder. I want you to just worship. I want you to just worship. I know whatever's going on, I want you to just worship. And it's so cute because the Lord will just say, sing to me. And it just, it's like a romance for all the, the single ladies out there. It's like Jesus or even the married ladies. We still like to be romanced by Jesus. We want to feel the call of Jesus just to worship him. He's saying, just sing to me. You're my bride. You're beautiful. You're lovely. Just sing to me. I want to hear your voice. He comes with that holy expectation of getting to know your heart and, and, and just wanting to know all of you. And he loves the sound of your voice. We were created to worship him. We have this hunger and this desire that only gets fulfilled as we let that realm of joy out and we let that that uh, I just see many breakthroughs coming in that you've kind of resisted uh, the realm of joy of just a little bit because you're like, oh, this is works. No, I want you to press harder into it and you're going to see a major breakthrough. I just, I just seen it. Yeah. And even men too, even men like to be romanced by Christ. They, they want to feel the love of the father. Maybe they didn't have a good father and maybe the men just need to, to listen to the Lord say, sing to me, sing to me. They want to give you, he wants to give you more of that father's heart that maybe you never got, were able to get as a child, or he wants to give you that romance of you still are my bride. I know we don't understand that natural, but you're still his bride. He still loves you. He wants to know your heart. He wants to know how you feel. He wants you to sing that new song to allow the, the glory and the frequency of heaven to, to go to war for you. It, it just, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. And sometimes you just have to, to get down and worship your way through it. There's no other way. Maybe maybe you just don't understand how big what your birthing is. And maybe that's why God keeps saying, worship, worship, worship. It's the only way to birth it. Worship, worship, worship. Because that's the key to allow everything to flow because you're, you're going to keep the glory. You're going to just be so full of his glory that it's going to smash any resistance. You know, uh, one of the things the Lord told me to ask you is, is when you're worshiping and you're carving out that realm of joy, how hard is it if you're pressing into that and you're not backing down? And I don't care if you have to worship for an hour every night during this season. Or, or, you know, find out what, what it is that you need or if you need to worship 15 minutes all throughout the day to carve out your realm and joy. Find the strategy that works for you. But he told me to ask you, isn't it hard to be depressed if you're worshiping? Isn't it hard to be discouraged if you're worshiping? Isn't it hard to be despondent if you're worshiping? He just kept asking me these questions over and over to ask you guys, is it, is it hard to be despaired if you're worshiping? Is it hard to be hurt or angry or mad or confused about life or confused about your next season if you're worshiping? Because worshiping brings the glory, which brings the clarity. And I just, I just think that that is, that's a huge step. That's a huge step. Because as we step out to worship, we're putting beside our agenda and saying, God, you're more important. Though it looks, you know, every which way, we're, but right. You are more important, God. And you are the one that's going to see to it that I have everything it needs. It says we have everything that we need that pertains to life and godliness and joy is part of it. We just have to tap into it, but he's not going to open your mouth and sing for you. That, that's one of the things that uh, I just feel the Holy Spirit's real strong that, you know, he can offer up the breakthrough in the joy, but you have to be the one to sing. It's kind of like um, how many guys know when you're first like trying to pray in tongues and you are like, oh man, I just, I just want you to open my mouth, Lord, and pray in tongues for me. Well, carving out a realm of joy is like that. You know, I just want you to give me joy, Lord. Well, he can do that, but he really wants you to make the choice to open your mouth and worship. Take part. Take president in what he's doing in this season in your life. Um, 
he said the holy spirit asked me this one question and it struck me pretty hard it's like ouch this lord you're, you're whacking me over here it says what if the enemy is trying to rob the joy to rob the revelation let me say that one more time because i want you to think about that what if the enemy is trying to rob the joy to rob the revelation now isn't it worth it just to sit there and worship for a little bit create an atmosphere create the glory and allow yourself to just stand into that revelation you know just like ruth heflin said you know worship and and allow the spirit to glory of glory to just fall on you to just stand in it just stand in the presence of god and allow the downloads to take place remember how many of you guys out here have had people ask you i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i can't hear god oh my gosh i can't hear god or i hear god for everybody else but i can't hear him for myself and i don't know what to do and i don't know what to expect and and what am i going to do to hear god well how do you many times if we would just worship if we would just worship and sometimes we think what we need to hear might not be what god wants to speak to us at all you know but if, if i had a dollar for every time somebody said i can't hear the voice of god but they don't worship and they don't uh, step into that at all i'm like man lord what can you do like i know everybody needs deliverance and we're all at different stages so if you don't hear god very well there, there's no condemnation there we just say lord we just break any assignment to, to clog up their ears in the spirit realm but just remember god speaks to all all your senses it's not just hearing some people hear a lot audibly but some people they know more than they hear or they taste more or they smell more or they see more than what they hear audibly but remember god's voice is a still small voice